Tomorrow, 19th of October, will mark the 36th commemoration of the death of Samora Machel. The former Mozambican president died when his presidential aircraft crashed at Mbuzini on the Mozambican South African border in 1986. Vice Chancellor of the Tswane University of Technology, Professor Diniko Maluleke, has been invited to deliver the annual Samora Michelle Memorial Lecture in Maputo this coming Friday. Just looking ahead of that to set the scene and help us reflect on the life and times of the fallen Mozambican president, Professor Maluleke is with us now, joining us virtually from Pretoria. Prof, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for your time. As are you getting ready to deliver the annual lecture on Friday, for you, what's top of mind about the legacy of Samora Michel? Well, you know, I... For me, Samara Michel is one of those uh, leaders who changed the game for Southern Africa. He changed the game for South Africa in particular um, because there is no way you can think of the liberation of uh, Zimbabwe uh, or the liberation of South Africa or even Namibia without thinking of him and his role uh, in in the liberation of these three countries. So here is a leader whose impact uh, went far beyond his own native land and his, his victory and his um, coming to power reverberated across Southern Africa. So in that sense, I see him as a game changer. He is one of those leaders uh, to whom we owe so much, uh, all of us in Southern Africa. And that for me, is perhaps one of the biggest legacies uh, that he has left us. And one of the biggest questions is about that plane crash in which he and 30 odd other leading Mozambicans uh, 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 perished at Mbuzini. Yes, um, you know, it, within 24 hours, roughly from now, or just over 24 hours, it will be, as you rightly noted, 36 years since that fateful night at Buzini in, uh, in Pumalanga. The, the, the sad thing about that assassination is that um, many, many questions uh, remain. I think we know it was an assassination. There are far too many questions uh, for it not to be a, a, an assassination. It is not, uh, I think uh, it is now agreed that uh, it was not an accident. But I mean, Samora is in good company, in inverted commas, good company, because think about it. Um, this is how Patrice Lumumba went. Um, this is how um, Amical Cabral went. This is how uh, uh, so many other African leaders, uh, Eduardo Mondan himself, um, Ruth First, if you want to link uh, with Mozambique, uh, if we come back home, Chris Hani and others. So assassination uh, has been a very uh, important weapon for the forces of colonialism in Africa, um, north and south, uh, but certainly in southern and central Africa. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pleased to hear that you say there's an agreement generally that was an assassination. It's a position that many of us have maintained from, from literally from day one of that, uh, of, of that crash. Now, do you think we are doing enough? I don't know what thoughts you're going to share on Friday. You don't really have to give us the full, full scale of them. But do you think we're doing enough as South Africa, as Southern Africa, as a continent, to really honor Samora Michel's legacy and contribution to the liberation of peoples of several countries, as you've mentioned? Look, I mean, there are two general ways that we, we, we should think of honoring uh, Samora Michel. One of them is, of course, to be overt and direct about, and I think more of that uh, is necessary um, in Southern Africa. But there is another more important way of honoring his legacy, and that is making sure that what he fought for, uh, the, the struggle that he, he waged throughout his life, I mean, for 22 years uh, in war for the liberation of that country and for the liberation of Zimbabwe and South Africa, uh, 
if we can make Zimbabwe, Mozambique, South Africa, Zambia, uh, Tanzania, Malawi, if we can make these countries to become as developed as he had wished them to be, to become the beacons of development and democracy that he had wished them to be, if we can do that, uh, then perhaps we don't even need to shout his name because he will be smiling from wherever he is if he sees uh, Mozambique on its feet, if he sees South Africa on its feet, making its contribution uh, in the world and, uh, and to its own people. Thank you very much. Professor Tinyiko Malulege, TUT Vice Chancellor, sharing with us some of his thoughts as he's preparing to deliver the annual Samora Michelle Memorial Lecture on Friday. Tomorrow, of course, the 19th of October, will mark 36 years since Samora Michelle and 30 odd other Mozambicans were assassinated when that plane came down in Mbuzini. No matter how you look at it, there's many, many more unanswered questions today about that plane crash. And I've maintained before, it was not an ordinary plane crash.